and then it's like oh hey briley and then they go into responding to me and it's like oh yeah right people say hi to each other and i'm not just an e-girl There is a subject that doesn't get talked about too, too much, but it's something that's ever present in like every form of streaming available. And it's not the streamer itself. It's not chat even. It's the lurkers. For those that don't know, lurkers are the people that just kind of turn your stream on and listen. Sometimes they mute the stream because they just want to show support. Sometimes, most of the time, those lurkers just like listening to you. And recently, there was a thread that came across my timeline that I kind of wanted to go over. Oh, okay, I kind of get that. I kind of get that, Tibbs. Anyways, someone known as the adorable tuna put out a twitter thread that caught my eye it reads as follows dear streamers vtubers content creators please don't shame people for lurking i am a lurker and it breaks my heart when streamers belittle the support of their lurkers as a streamer you do not know the lurkers life situation their schedule or their preference and they don't owe an explanation. I shouldn't feel guilty or bad for leaving a stream on while I might be doing something else. Example, running to the store. This is also a form of support, in my opinion. I would also ag add, agree and add to that, that with Twitch, having the lurkers in your chat or having them in your stream, you that boosts you up in the viewability of twitch so it gives you more exposure on twitch for youtube if you're lurking through a stream that really adds to that youtubers watch hours and if you're not aware building up those watch hours is kind of something that's needed to monetize your channel so passively lurking in a youtube chat can actually help move people towards being able to monetize the content they make, or at least through YouTube ad revenue and their different stuff. It hurts to hear that I'm not enough for just sitting there listening to what you're saying during a stream. Sometimes I personally don't want to say hi because of my depleted energy in socializing, which is pretty frequent. And yeah, like I personally can enjoy jumping into chat and talking with people. And then there are times when I just don't really want to engage with chat. Really. I don't want to deal with, um, talking with people directly, but I still want to listen in people hate lurkers. Um, the thing is there was a, there was a, VTuber that put out a rage bait uh, clip on YouTube on Twit on Twitter that was basically shit talking mobile viewers on Twitch and lurkers. So this is basically a subtweet of that. And rather than give that tiefling what he wants with rage bait, I'm just going over with you know facts and logic. But yeah, I do enjoy talking with people directly. I do enjoy popping into chats once in a while. But sometimes, yeah, I just want to listen to somebody. I'm focused on something else. I'm playing a game, maybe. Not always, not every viewer is going to come in and chat. Like, you see somebody with um, thousands of viewers. You're going to see maybe a few hundred chatters. Viewer does not equal chatter. Fun. Lurk, in fact, wanted to listen while I work. Fair. I don't know if I have a lurk command.
Oh, thank you, Nightbot. I didn't know that was the text. Hearing a streamer say, it's not like anyone is listening, everyone just muted their tab while I sit there makes me stupid for, or I'm pretty sure they meant to say it makes me feel stupid for even being there. Yeah, that's kind of like shoot, that's a streamer shooting themselves in the foot because just because they're not engaging with you directly doesn't mean they don't want to hear what you have to say. That's that's just them being letting their self doubt take over and well ruining the experience for everybody because streaming is supposed to be or streaming is a form of entertainment. Just one of the many forms of, of entertainment out there. I do not want to have anxiety and panic attacks of going, oh crap. This person was in my stream and hung out with me all day. I really need to do that too. Then I'm stuck with a crippling state of wanting to multitask, but not allowed to because of some version in my head telling me that I need to mirror the person's action in order to quote, pay it back or pay the support back, unquote. And that's kind of a anxiety that a lot of people just kind of tend to deal with that you feel you've got to directly one-to-one -one reciprocate what support others have shown you and in reality that is not really something consider i would consider necessary you want to show your support for other people in the way that you support other people if that's lurking cool if that's shouting people out on stream cool if that's collabing with them cool you gotta sh show the support how you wanna not going anywhere just working on my other screen there i have i know that at least a few people uh like to have my streams or like my videos on specifically like in the background while they're working on other stuff which honestly i get i get i give off like a podcast vibe but I'm a little more personable because I got chat with me. That and people can't say it's like my videos are at offline or ed edited to take people out of context kind of thing. No, I do all my shit live. I don't got the, I don't care enough to attack people with planned out hate. Who knows? Maybe a viewer is just gaming. Yeah, that's something I actually do a lot. When I do take the time to play games and I'm not going through like a story thing, I'm going through like, um, like I'm playing Dark Tide and I just kind of want to have something that isn't just the standard game noise going on. I want to actually have something new coming in rather than running through the same levels over and over with no real variation. But I do love Dark Tide. But having like a streamer on while i'm playing that it's nice it can sometimes almost feel like there's somebody in the room with you it's it's understandable why people do that where was i at right that it's your decision to go to, into my stream and talk but please don't do it to gain something i genuinely enjoy seeing everyone when they say hello while as I know myself that I rarely say hi to others in theirs. Honestly, that's kind of something I'm bad about. Where I'm really great at saying hey back when somebody in chat is popping in saying hi. But when I'm joining other people's streams, I like literally never say hi directly. I will use like channel rewards to make them hydrate or something or i'll play a funny sound clip i had one friend that when he was streaming uh i would just play the soundbite nut and then he would be like oh there's briley because he it would just be out of nowhere and then he sees who redeems it and then i just start talking and engaging usually i'll just i don't say hello but i will engage directly with what's being talked about on stream 
because like sometimes I've been lurking for a while. I've been enjoying it. I've been focusing on other things. So I kind of already feel involved with the stream. So then when I start going to engage directly with the, um, or, or um, make a response to a point made on stream, and then it's like, oh, hey, Briley. And then they go into responding to me. And it's like, oh, yeah, right. People say hi to each other, and I'm not just an e-girl. I've always been the silent type and rarely wish to be noticed, but please let me support you in my own way. Lurkers want to be hidden for a reason, but don't belittle their support. This isn't about numbers. This is about you actually hurting people who genuinely want to help you throughout your journey. Lurkers are valid. Your support is more than enough, and I thank you for it. You are loved. Sign Tuna. Don't shame lurkers with a very cute picture from Tuna or posted by Tuna. I I I don't know who was the artist, but anyways, she put out she put out a sentiment that I just figured it would be something good to talk about on stream. As Lola says, lurkers are the backbone of the community. Yep, that's basically exactly the same thing I say. I say lurkers are the backbone of streaming. Because, like, as I mentioned earlier, on Twitch, lurkers are the majority of people who will be watching you. And the more you have in your stream, which is pretty basic streamer knowledge, the more you have, the higher up the list you go for most views. So even just a few lurkers on a unpopular game or like a somewhat popular game that isn't being streamed very much can literally put you at the top. Like I had on Twitch a somewhat dedicated handful of people, like three, four maybe, that would regularly check out my streams. I don't think it was three, four individuals, but any given time there would be like three to four people watching me. And one game I started playing was Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. With those three to four people, that literally put me at the top of that category because there was no bigger streamer playing it. I was actually averaging like 11 to 17 viewers just from playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse during the off hours of the bigger streamers. So like, pay attention to the category you're in. Pay attention to the other creators or the other streamers and they're when they tend to stream the game you want to play and support your own goddamn lurkers that means that means don't go in to see who's viewing like don't pay i would definitely recommend don't pay attention to who is actively in chat like um i know twitch has a thing that's like viewers in chat and then it's like mostly bots but then there's also actual people in there and then some people have used that to like kind of keep track of oh this person's watching and i consider them a friend but they're not engaging with me it's like that's that's so rude that's something to leave to the mods not hard to pay attention to who's in chat at first it is hard to not pay attention to who's in chat chat at first no i mean like um when you go on to, let me just pull up a quick Twitch stream. But I don't want to steal somebody else's content. So I'm going to go over to my own channel. Okay. So, as you can see, there's the stream chat here. Up here in the community, it'll show you all the different viewers in chat. And like some people will go out of their way to bother people that they know are hanging out in here, but not actually engaging with chat because they feel they need the chat engagement to be an entertaining streamer. And if you need chat's engagement to be an entertaining streamer, you're a boring streamer. Your chat is not there to engage with chat itself or just because you're around. It's because they like you 
they they want to engage with the content you're putting out so to speak what you don't want to steal someone's content and dox anybody who calls you out on your shit slash s yeah i don't feel like taking uh i don't feel like taking that out i do not i do not like ss sniper wolf But yeah, love your lurkers, whether it's on Twitch or YouTube, they really help you out and they are the majority of people that actually watch you. Don't call out individuals that you know are lurking because that's like extremely rude, especially if you do it like in a way that's on Twitter or like publicly on Twitter or making a call out video about it. I actually haven't seen one. I'm just bringing up hypotheticals but like seriously we need them lurkers without the lurkers we don't really have anything thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe for more content and if you want to join the community feel free to check out the discord i love to voice chat in there so if you want to ever talk i'm usually available well in the afternoons